Hello, welcome to my first video on SketchUp Designer. I'm so excited. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Sketchbook Designer from uh, by Autodesk. I'm going to place a link to the main website for the program um, in the description. And also I'm going to have another link to some of the um, demo videos by Sketchbook Pro as well. So um, first, I would like to talk about sort of my first impression of this program. This program has interesting features where um, where they have they use vectors and they also use rasters. Um, if you notice by my cursor, that they use two of those different um, types of joints. So for those who want, let me. Let me erase this first. Uh, let me make a new good thing about. It. So first of all, let me talk about some some of the uses for this program. As an architecture student, this program for me is just awesome. This program is meant for industrial designers, the, so that they can draw nicely and they could do shading and they have some textures for them. But I found this program excellent for the idea stage, just basic sketching. So as I was talking earlier, they have um, rasters, and then over on the right top right side we have the paint, uh, the paint layers, it's divided into layers, it's by Autodesk, so we have um, all the different layers, there's a mass that could be used um, all just as, almost just the same as Photoshop. Uh, and then we have vectors layers, which basically, as you see, are the tools up above changes so that all of the lines that you draw become vectors that later you could twist, you could change, you could come and select all of these different points and nodes and add to them so that we could adjust them much better. And then I'll go in more in depth about that later. And then, then we have this canvas, which I like a lot. I mean, basically, then we come and then they have different papers that we can use. The only complaint I have is that there's only six types of papers, actually seven including solid colors. But there's not a lot of good papers that we can use. And then, then we can come and zoom in and see into these and we could set, of course, the pixel per inches. And then I usually go for a higher pixel, say about 200, just my personal preference. And then I like to set my paper size to letters so that I can actually print these out for presentation and whatnot. Um, and then as you can see, the canvas, if you use especially the pencil tool, you could actually get the texture of the paper with the pencil tool. And then we could we could play around with the size of the of the pencil and of, oh by the way I'm using a Wacom tablet so then it it supports pressure sensitive so I'm pressing harder and it goes much darker we could also verify the intensity of the pencil so that we have some transparency in it there's a the good I love the sharp and then the with the duller pencil but we could play with it. The good thing was it also play with the color too. We could have like red over it, add some notes with color pencils. This is just awesome. So this is the rester. This is under the paint layer. Um, and then for the vectors, like I've talked about, we could do a lot. The pencil is much different. Uh, it's looser, but at the same time we still get the same. Let me just change this back to black. I like black. I think we get the same that we get the same pressure in the Wacom that the pencil and the vector can support. Awesome thing about this program too, I just forgot to mention, is that with AutoCAD you can actually grab a region from AutoCAD, your plan, and then import it into Sketchbook Designer so that you could draw uh, over it. Let me just clear everything up and and all of these first. So then you just take a plan AutoCAD and then you bring it to Sketchbook Designer and then you just 
draw all your stuff in here, right? And then you can transfer it back as a function to transfer back to AutoCAD. And it appears as a register in AutoCAD. And from there, you can start to do all your vector lines and everything. And then, so basically, you have a very integrated system of sketching and then working back in AutoCAD. So it goes back and forth. Of course, um, there's only one major thing that um, that's not quite good about this system is that your computer would have to be reasonably fast. My laptop at the moment, it's, it's slow. But I cannot grab a large section in AutoCAD and import it. There's always different settings that you have to consider for like the pixels per inch like I talked about in the um, canvas. But besides that, it is awesome. Imagine all the possibilities. You don't have to grab a trace, you don't have to print out your, uh, your plans, your sections, just come in here. In addition to the, the raster layer, if you, if you import your AutoCAD and you work in the vector layer, you could actually use those lines in AutoCAD. They will become polylines. Imagine how cool is that? And then let me go back to paint for one second and then talk about so this process, I think it's awesome, it's great. Um, so I don't think it's just for industrial designers. I think for architecture students, we always find there's a disconnect between programs and then our sketching. I believe a lot in sketching, but at the same time, I don't like the mess of having so many different type of pencils and markers and all of that. Then, um, so, what I'd like to show you is that there's all of these different, basically, let's look at the toolbox. We have all of these different tool pencils, and we have pens, and in the pen we have a filthy pen, we have a regular ballpoint pen, we have a brush pen, that also pressure sensitive, all of these pressure sensitive. That we have brushes, and then we have here, markers. We could use markers in this program. It looks like markers. It overlaps like markers. If you set the intensity of it, you can see, and let me change the angle, you can see that it overlaps like a real marker. And then, of course, you have airbrushes and then the regular brush, and then we have here the eraser. And then here we go, we erase all of these. And then, similar to Photoshop, we have the um, with the dodge and then we have the with the dodge and then with the burn all of those let me I'm gonna go into these later much later but this program for architecture student is I think it's a very important part of it although expense is gonna be higher because you have to buy a, a Wacom tablet and then um, you have to buy this program too so I'm not sure if there's gonna be student pricing for this program but I think this program has a lot of potential that we can go over so, for the next video, I think I'm going to talk about um, the paint, the paint layer and its, and its functions and a lot of how these might apply to how we might design. So, have fun and I'll see you next video.